In February 2018, our school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, was attacked by a gunman. My goal is at least 20 people with an AR-15 and a couple trace rounds. Location is Stoneman Douglas in Parkland, Florida. My teacher yelled code red, and a code red means that there's an active shooter on campus. Oh my God. Oh my God. The SWAT team were yelling at us. They were like, run, run, run. <laughs> As I'm running, like I couldn't help but look around and, and it was just the scariest image. It was like I'm looking at death. Like this is death. <laughs> Seventeen of our friends and classmates were killed. We're going to take this to the national stage. We're not going to be ignored. I'm a British student at the school. In the immediate aftermath of the shooting, what do we, want? we made it our mission to bring about change in America. Enough is enough! And take our campaign to the steps of the White House. Lewis, you wanted to talk about uh, an initiative you have. In about an hour, I'd like everyone who has a Twitter account to go on Twitter and maybe send a message with the hashtag never again. Um, we don't want this to just be another thoughts and prayers and everyone go to bed. We want to carry this across the country and want to stop this from happening ever again. Never again! Never again! We are the generation that grew up with mass shootings, but we're also the generation that grew up with social media. The idea that we could use that to reach so many people at once showed that we could mobilize and make a change. We are MSC, we're here to make some history. We are After weeks of campaigning, we had a breakthrough. To the students at Marjorie Stillman Douglas High School, Made your voices heard. A bill is passed in Florida that introduces a three-day waiting period on all gun purchases and raises the minimum age for buying automatic weapons from 18 to 21. It also bans the bump stocks that increase the firing speed of these weapons. You helped change our state, you made a difference. You should be proud. But the NRA immediately sues the state of Florida to block the changes, claiming the bill infringes on the Second Amendment. We know we have to keep the pressure on. We're staging a school walkout in protest. The news media gets bored with a story and then move on to the next one. With social media, we can keep it day in, day out, as long as we have a base large enough to keep it there. We want democracy in our sight! We want democracy in our sight! 3,000 schools around America join us in the walkout. What do we want? When do we want it? Kyle was on the third floor of the building and was shot as he tried to run away. It's a nice it looks like it feels good, but no. Kyle has had five operations so far. Surgeons have done two skin grafts to help fix his ankle. What is that? Is that a BB gun? Or yeah. is it like paintball? It's a BB gun. I, I'm pro gun moorish. I, I feel like you shouldn't. Take away guns. You should definitely have limits on them, but you should never. You shouldn't take away. What do you think about the AR-15? Oh, I like them. I shoot. I shoot them. They're just fun to shoot at targets. It's the day of March for Our Lives in Washington D.C. Hundreds of thousands of people are coming from across America to march on the Capitol. The march looks set to be one of the largest youth-led protests in history. This has kind of been the culmination of everything the Never Again movement has been working towards for the last month. We know what we want. We know how to get it. And we are not waiting any longer. 